Mark Hall. Finally get that FILA Cadet National Championship. First off, Mark, how's it feel? Uh, it, feels, it feels great uh, being able to finally get over that hump after three long, long years of, uh, of waiting for it. It's, uh, it's been a great ride. I'm ready for the World Championships. If you look at the first two years, you're kind of out of your age group, you're, and you've always wrestled up since you were a little guy. I remember since you were like six, seven, eight, nine years old, you're always wrestling multiple divisions. Yeah. Has that helped you, you know, finally get to where you need to get to this year and win it? Yeah, I, I think um, I think being able to wrestle with uh, with the senior guys, the junior guys, uh, finally being able to um, you know put all that stuff I learned, being able to, being able to hit it on guys out here. Uh, it's it's good being able. Um, to uh, have those um, have those sources that I have, so it's been it has been good being able to wrestle up age groups and stuff like that. But. How much is it training partners for you? I mean, you get you grab everyone you can. I mean, we were up there when Joe Williamson and I were up there. You had multiple car yeah. partners coming. Drew Garcia. I think you had uh, Watts come in. Yep. All types of guys come in, man. You got guys come in like that. How much has that helped you? Like you're saying. How much has the resource of workout partners helped Mark Hall? Um, ever since I was younger, I, my dad and my family basically have, have always told me to go with guys that are going to beat me up. So, um, you know, being able to have guys like Tony Jones, who was, uh, you know, he's a great mentor to me, and um, you know, putting myself around guys that will you know, take me out of my comfort zone is really, really important. So. so you like being out of your comfort zone? Nobody likes that, but yeah. that's just kind of a way of life for you. Yeah, I look at the, you know, the, the Bo Nickel rivalry. We talked about that with the piece we did with you. You don't have Bo this year. Whether it was all too old for this or he was at the tournament overseas, whatever it is. Is that disappointing not to get the rematch with Bo? Uh, no, not really. But he's he's one of those guys that uh, you know, he's, he's good at what he does. And obviously, uh, he just won the uh, a junior tournament out in Turkey. So, you know, he's, he's really good at what he does. And, uh, respect a guy like that, but, but when it does come down, he, he's one of the guys that I really want to get after. Really to beat, so. so we got a rivalry. We've, we've had the it's rivalry, but it's, it's continuing to brew. All right, I look at, uh, you know, everyone asks you about college choices. You look at college choices, are you going to train after? I talked to you, you know, a couple times a year. Do you look at college choices, or are you going to do the, the Olympic route? What do you What do you um, think? As of right now, I want to go. Uh, I want to go the college route, just because um, I think from from past time seeing guys go out to the training center, it's hard to get back in that, that folk style, you know, beating on the guy mentality. So as of right now, it's um, I just want to go right to college, but you know, especially with me, a lot of things are subject to change. So. Give me three top choices right now if you had to pick today. Uh, if you feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable, don't tell me. As of right now, my top three is for sure Minnesota, Oklahoma State, and then uh, that third one, probably Ohio State. Ohio I, State? I, I really like um, you know, Tom Ryan, and, uh, and Kyle Snyder is one of my good friends, too. So that helps. Uh, you know, looking at you know, going overseas. How many tournaments have you wrestled overseas? You know, the, the World Championships in Slovakia for you. What do you got to do to get a medal? And how much experience do you have wrestling overseas? Um, I wrestled one tournament overseas. I wrestled in the uh, Pan Am's my first field cadet year. But um, I've had I've had opportunities to wrestle guys from Iran, India, um, uh, Sweden. So I put myself around that that foreign feel, so I won't feel too uncomfortable. It's not going to be a shock when you go out and some guy's like giving you his leg or something, yeah. right? Yeah. And, they, and they, 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 they go in bursts. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll feel real weak when you grab a hold of them, and then all of a sudden they're they're behind you and you don't yeah. know what happened. That's exactly how it feels. Looking at that, that foreign feel, what else can you do between now and Serbia to, um, to, to get a better feel for it? Um, for sure, uh, probably going like like short 30 second goes with, with guys at Emma High School in Minnesota. Um, just being able <coughs> to put myself around, around that foreign field just as much as I can. And uh, I don't know, I just gotta be ready for it. You know, uh, it's for sure something that a lot of people don't, don't get the chance to have, but uh, I feel blessed to be able to have this, uh, this opportunity. You're the definition of what I call a mat rat, a guy who will go and wrestle anyone, anywhere. I've asked Manville, I've asked Spencer Lee, will they be in Fargo? Will Mark Hall be in Fargo? Um, as of right now, I, I talked about it with my dad actually uh, before this, and he said, you know, why not? 
wrestling the World Championships, and then you know, right after that, it's, it's going to far. So you're gonna go. You're gonna go. Yeah. You are. You, know, you are the definition of a merit. I don't you know think that. I would have a problem with it. Uh, you know, it's for sure one of those things I have to take day by day. But you know, right now, why not? Why not? Why not? All right. You got anything else for me, Mark? <laughs> hey, congratulations on finally getting the feel of that title. Thank you.